Big data presents a large challenge to the visualisation community in that there's now so much more data to visualise, um, but the window that you have onto that data is essentially the same size. Welcome to uh, the Data Science Institute at Imperial College London. Um, the facility you're standing within is the KPMG Data Observatory. Its goal is to help you visualise uh, big data and to make sense of it in a social fashion. Bitcoin is an online currency. Um, uh, it's maintained by a network of computers uh, around the world. What we have on this plot here is a visualisation of the computers uh, on the network, which are the blue dots on here. Um, this is coming through in live, real time. The spikes that you see uh, on this plot are the transactions in Bitcoin. The spikes will grow uh, over time, showing you the, the global distribution of um, the currency. This is the work of one of our MSc students, uh, Dan McGinn. This is his final uh, project. The goal of this essentially is to give us an idea of the topology of the transactions on this screen. When you see uh, one of these structures like this, um, this is essentially uh, one account, which is the white line around the edge, uh, making one payment um, using lots of small bitcoins. Now the opposite of that would be one of these blue stars, uh, like this one here, um, which is making uh, lots of payments with one bitcoin. So one thing you can see on this, for example, is the chains of transactions, um, like these ones uh, just here. And essentially, this is following money through the Bitcoin economy. So this is essentially uh, Alice pays Bob, Bob pays Charlie, Charlie pays David, and you can follow the flow of money through the uh, Bitcoin economy in real time. On this screen at the moment, um, there is about $5 million worth of Bitcoin transactions uh, on the screen. These kind of worm-like spaghetti um, structures on here, um, now these actually correspond to uh, essentially an attack on the Bitcoin network. Now this is uh, one uh, individual block in the, in the blockchain. Um, this is one megabyte worth of data, um, so about 10 minutes worth of Bitcoin transactions. If the last two uh, visualizations were a, uh, a data frequency attack, um, this essentially is a data complexity attack. So these transactions here are so heavily uh, intertwined that it's very hard to work out um, or what exactly is happening behind this. And this actually corresponds essentially to a money laundering service. So this is a, a group of tightly coupled transactions uh, which are repeatedly um, splitting apart and rejoining bitcoins, sending them to different addresses uh, in the meantime. The most important things we've seen from, um, from these visualizations here uh, has essentially been a window into uh, the types of transactions that we see, and um, particularly the, the, uh, the types of uh, attack we've seen on the Bitcoin network, being able to really uh, dig into and explore uh, collaboratively as a group. Um, those findings has been a fascinating experience for us.